Divorce is another one. If, for example, you become so drunk and you keep abusing your wife every single day, beating her up, black and blue, breaking her legs and so on, yeah. can your wife can your wife from a Muslim can your that's wife that's seek that's divorce? That's yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Based on the Bible? Yes. Based on the Bible? Yeah. No. So you don't know the Bible, do you? Yeah, do. The Bible yes, says, you know, even from Moses, no. he allowed it. Bible you says, know, what, you know, Jesus, what grounds Jesus, the Bible allows divorce? Jesus started from the discussion. From, from Jesus started from the debate among. Among according to Paul and according to Jesus Christ in the New Testament, according to what scholars, the, what, uh, not it's scholars. You, you, yes, you, you need to know. According that. to because, the scripture, because, scripture, yes. scripture. Yeah, because the discussion was, are you allowed to divorce your wife on any grounds? Mm -hmm. Discussion among the learned Pharisees on Jesus' time is. Do you, you want to read you, the, you, you, Bring this passage up. I, I have it. It's, 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 it's you, I think. Well, bring and it up. It's, it's from, bring it up. The, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain first. Go on, go on, explain. Go on. Yeah. explain and bring you, the passage you know, up. You, you, let, let, me explain. let just, just me explain. From Moses, mm -hmm. Jews were allowed to divorce. You can divorce them on several grounds. Mm -hmm. if, 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 uh, um, if, if, and he says the man can divorce his wife if he finds something on, um, well, I don't know what's in English. Um, the, 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 Let's leave no, the Old no, no, Testament yeah, yeah, so, mosaic law. Yeah, what yeah, is the yeah, Christian you know, teaching yeah. from me, the yes, New Testament? I haven't finished yet. Because the, the Jews in Jesus' time, they discussed, what is this, uh, um, what, what you used, that something unattractive, it's, it's used of something... Well, well, if she's worse, unattractive, I wouldn't have no, it's, it's, it's not she. Thing. If she finds something that is bad with her, but the, the word bad there isn't defined. Okay. So the Jews discussed, well, this bad thing doesn't mean just if you just uh, um, spoil the food or does it mean that if he's been unfaithful so there were two schools in Jesus time and one of them said well uh, um, most you can dis divorce them if you find anything un unattractive no, no, no. Yeah, divorce, yeah. we want to yes, talk no, about no, the no, New no, Testament need, need, law yeah. on divorce it's, it's not, not it's not testament law it's Jesus teaching relating to discussion are you allowed to divorce your wife on what any did, What did Jesus say? Jesus said, no, you shouldn't. So, you shouldn't. So, so, so can you, you divorce your wife? So and he, what he, grounds he does he allow? Anyone who divorces his wife causes her to... Yeah, to, so to can you divorce your wife in my example? I, I would say yes. Because, because Not according to Jesus? Yeah. I, I Where does Jesus give you permission he, to divorce he, wife he, like this? He, he said you should divorce. But he didn't take back the the, the Moses. Um, he says he shouldn't, but you say he, yeah, yeah. And, you the, can. and the point is, by for any reason. Don't give your the interpretation. Look, what did Jesus, what say? Did we Jesus need say? To have the interpretation to understand it. What did Jesus say? On what ground? What ground does the New Testament allow divorce? We know it. Yeah. You know it too. Yeah, but the, Only when it comes to what adultery, adultery. Yeah. or if they change another religion, maybe perhaps, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I no, I, I don't agree with that. That's so you don't agree with true. Jesus or Paul? I, I, I do. So he disagrees I, I, with I, I Jesus and take, Paul. You take it out of the context. I think Jesus. Show me the very, context. Jesus is very. Show wait, me the wait, context. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus is negative to divorce. Paul is negative to divorce, to divorce as well, mm -hmm. because pe people in, in uh, the Jews were asking, "Can we divorce our wives on any grounds?" And Jesus said, "No, you cannot." Yeah, but you said now you can. Huh? But you sir can. Not on Jesus any says no. Ground. The point is on any grounds. He gives the grounds, huh? and the example yeah, I've given but, you but, but is it, not it, included it, it, within these grounds. No, no, but but that doesn't mean that he creates another law saying these are the grounds. Because there are other grounds yes, in the Old Testament. So Jesus is not. Jesus, Jesus already is, gave yes, that Jesus specific is not, Jesus is example. Jesus is not here a lawgiver, he is a teacher. He explains yes. what this debate is about. Yes. You, you Pharisees. So do you believe you, in eye for an eye? You, so do you, do you apply eye for an eye? Do you apply eye for an eye? Tooth for a tooth? I've got the life for life. Here, what's, what's, what's this guy to do when anything? Because the now you're saying, look, look, now you're picking and choose from the Old Testament. No, 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 no. Yeah. Whatever you yeah, like. No, 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 yeah. Read it. Can you read it, please, for us? This is red, red letter, so that's Jesus speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And can you read it yeah. so we can all hear it? Yeah. Whoever divorces a wife, let, let, let him give it a certificate of divorce. But I say to everyone who divorces a wife, except on the grounds of sexual immorality. Except on the grounds of? Makes her commit adultery. Right. So, that's so, the only but, exception. No, 
I don't think so. But that's you disagree with the Paul. Uh, that's fine. You can disagree with Paul, no, no, no. and you can disagree with Jesus. Yeah, no problem. You take that out from the, no, no. Uh, the you can disagree so with Paul and Jesus, as it's clearly seen. I don't, don't think I do. You just did. You, you just take that out of context. That is the context. No, no, no. Yeah. The, the, the context. When somebody says, except on this ground, that is the exception. Yeah. Nothing else. But you see, in another, another gospel, <laughs> that's another one. So this, this is not an absolute <laughs> teaching. This is an example. Uh, yeah. But, but, Beyond. but, but, but let, let me ask you, it's interesting you're asking about treatment of women, because the Quran mm -hmm. doesn't... Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Am I, is it the, the, the fair... Carry on, carry on. Air, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because in the Quran, are yeah, you in the Quran? to beat your wives? Aren't no. you allowed to have sexual no. slaves? No. Wait, 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 wait. To have slow down, slow down. Wives? One at a time. So, One at a time. Mm -hmm. The Quran doesn't say you can beat your wives. The Quran gives a prescription. Oh, okay. Are you listening? Yeah. Quran gives a prescription to deal with people, wives mm -hmm. who are disobedient to God and to the husband. Mm -hmm. And what in can you a, do if they are disobedient? Listen. Yeah, yeah. Listen. In a series of prescription, it gives you stage one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Stage one is. Wait, wait. Yeah. So you are wrong to say. Come on, come on. Explain the stages. Slow down. I want to see the stages. Slow yeah, down. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no climax to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first look. The Quran tells you that mm -hmm. women and men, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't defend the Bible. They are in such a that one is like the clothing of the other, right? So the man has given a responsibility. Arrijalu qawwamun ala nisa, right? The reason why the reason why man has been given a, an extra responsibility to be the guardian, to be the supporting role over women, in this case a husband and a wife, because of two reasons. What Allah has given fadl or blessing over one or the other, and what they provide from what Allah has provided for them. So a, so the a man devote, actually owns the woman. Did you even hear what I said? <laughs> Did you even hear what I said? I think I think that makes sense. If, if it, no, no. It's, it's so now, 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 I now I understand. Now I understand the reasons why you're finding difficulty in all our discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your presupposition comes in without even thinking and listening to what I'm saying, right? Here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Maybe on this one. Yeah, wrap this up. So man has given extra responsibility because of God has given them responsibility mm -hmm. of providing for them. Yeah. So a believing woman or a wife in this case needs to be fulfilling a role. And that role is the role of being in the marital affairs, being obedient to God and to the husband to protect that. And so it tells you, it, do you want to bring this? I'll show you. I need to go in a few seconds. But I okay. cannot just simply yeah, tell you, you like... You, you said there were some no, no. stages. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm telling you all the stages. One second. You could give me the reference. I could, I could check wait, it out. Wait, 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 wait. In, in the... In the here, here, here. Wait, wait, wait. So now you will understand why this is such a practical, just uh -oh. system yeah. Yeah. that you... Why isn't that in the Bible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here. In the, in the Quran. Yes. You would yeah. say, why isn't that in our Bible? It, this, yeah. oh, it's this, all your Bible. Oh, it's the Quran your Bible. Okay. Yeah. 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 Here. Men are protectors and maintainers of women mm -hmm. because Allah has yeah, made one of them to excel the other and because they spend to support them from their means. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Therefore, the righteous women are devoutly obedient to Allah and their husband. And God, in their husband's absence, what Allah orders them to God, like their chastity and their husband's property and so on. Right? So now, this is the context. Context is important, isn't it? So now, I div div you're so impatient. I'm going to give you something that you'd appreciate all your life. So here you have a obedient wife, someone who is righteous wife, in the absence of the husband at home, she is going to guard what Allah commands her to guard. Mm -hmm. That includes her chastity, not to bring another man in the bedroom and flirting and so on and so forth, or have sexual relationship. Yeah, but, right? but let's, or, let's come to the punishments because it, it makes sense. If you have sense. to go, go. Come back again next time and we can talk. Right? Because, uh, we, because, uh, we, because you're not interested in listening. Which ayah is this? No, listen, I, listen. I, I can go, come back listen, and read no, no. Yeah. Listen, you, you learned something today, hopefully. Right? So, 
She needs to do what? She needs to guard. Yeah, the, the, the problem is the punishment. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's the punishment. The, the punishment problem is, the is no. your Trinitarian brain. No, yeah, yeah. That's why it's not you know, understanding the, anything. The it doesn't make sense. Is the Listen. man should love his wife like wait, wait, Christ, not wait, the wait. church. No, the Sacrifice Christian perspective is his life for incorrect. Her. The Christian perspective is no. wives should follow and submit to the husbands and like unto the, the Lord. And the women should submit Excuse to me. one another. Wait, wait, wait. And the man should Why love don't you let me finish? If the husband, the if, if a Christian right. husband said to a Christian wife, bark like a dog, she has no options but to unconditionally, un yeah, unconditionally is, bark like a dog. That is New Testament dog without Jesus Christ. Excuse you me, know, one second. Can I, can I know, just, the, the can I, of, of can I justify what I said? When the New Testament says, wives, submit to your husbands like unto the Lord, may I ask you, no, when you submit to the Lord, do you submit conditionally or unconditionally? I don't think that is... is uh, May I ask you first of all? No, that, do that, you that, submit that, to your Lord conditionally or unconditionally? Uh, uh, I, I don't think that's an unconditional co commitment to Excuse husband. Excuse me. Because do you submit... Okay, I'm going to answer on his behalf. You submit to God unconditionally. So when the Bible said, wives must submit like they submit to God, which was what? Unconditional. So that no, means that, that's not the Christian perspective. But that's you can disagree. That's the text, no, 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 no. That's the text. You disagree no, with no, Paul. You take it out of the context. Excuse me. No. You take it out of the context. You disagree with Paul. You disagree with Jesus. Jesus. Now you disagree with the Bible. Bible. No, no, no. <laughs> take care. Take Do you want to listen to still the, why the Quran is this belief? That you, 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 you tell me. Okay. That, let uh, me tell you now. Okay. I'm in two go minutes. Go. In two minutes. No. No. I don't take time. Okay. Go. Then. What is okay. Surah? Four thirty-four. 434. 434. Yeah. For those who are listening, for those who are listening, so now a question was raised by a Christian friend. Oh, Islam denigrates women by beating them up. I said, no. In fact, this is a prescription given to a disobedient wife in a marital relationship. When we give prescriptions of punishment, do you disagree? When there is a criminal who goes into the court and gets punished, do you going to say, oh, no, we shouldn't punish a criminal? So the Quran gives the punishment of someone who are doing crime against God or against society and so on. So the first and foremost, what it says is, this woman, who should be wife, needs to be righteous, needs to be obedient to God, and in the absence of the husband at home, should be guarding, guarding her chastity, guarding the pro husband's property and honor and so on. Now, suppose she didn't do that for whatever reason. Husband comes and finds out. What is the first prescription? Go and beat her up? Or go and divorce her? Of course not. The Quran doesn't simply say, divorce her or beat her up. It says to the man, admonish her. Admonish her, meaning what? Reason with her. Counsel her. So what does it do? It totally goes against the idea that we see in Christian countries, domestic violence. It says, no, you man, you've seen your wife with another man in the bed, for example, you stop and control your anger. Don't start beating her out. You control your anger. And then you speak to her and you reason with her. You admonish her, what have you done? You're supposed to be my loving wife. So it eliminated altogether from the beginning the hot-headedness, the anger that man will feel at the moment he finds that his house has been sold, his Mercedes, his BMW, whatever, has been broken, given away, or whatever, by his wife, or another man in the bedroom, flirting with his wife. The Quran gives a prescription saying man needs to control and not to beat her up, like we see people beating up in the Western countries, in the Christian communities. And then the Quran doesn't then simply say like this, it carries on, suppose this woman carries on this wife, keep doing that. What, what does it tell you about this woman? She's supposed to believe in God and fear God. Was she fearing God by repeating that? Of course not, there's something wrong psychologically. But yet, even then the Quran doesn't say, go and punish her. The Quran says what? When you do that? Refuse to share the beds. Meaning what? You stop conjugal relationship, stop the intimacy and keep that in check. 
Because that's what she was trying to do, flirt with another man, sleep with another man maybe. Now you deprive her of this sexual gratification. Maybe days and weeks and months, whatever. You will be in check. That's what the Quran is saying, because that is the root of the problem perhaps. Is there any kind of any punishment or physical beating her up? Of course not. Now, if at the very beginning, on the first step, the wife said, I am so sorry, it was a mistake. What do you do? Do you beat her up? No. You say, fine, that's good. You have reconciled. End of the story, back to marital relationship. Not, unlike, not like the Western understanding in which you just simply go with a head, oh, divorce you, and you take it court and so on. What's going to happen to the children and, and the family? How are they going to bring up? All these emotional problems that you're going to make them suffer. So the Quran gives us a practical solution, makes divorce the last thing. Because even after all of this prescription, A, B, C and D, all of that didn't work. Reconciling with the family members, arbitration didn't work. Then you say, nothing will work, we'll seek divorce as a last resort. So yes, the Quran has divorce as a last resort, but not as a first resort like we see in Western societies. Or like we see the Western societies beat their wives up. The first moment they see something like that, the Quran says no. So if now segregating in mutual intimacy worked, that's it. Back to the same relationship. Now you don't have a problem anymore. That's why Quran is so reasonable. So practical because this comes from the most wise creator. He knows how human psyche works. He knows how human behavior is. He knows how human can reconcile between themselves. That is why the prescription the Quran gives between a disobedient wife or a disobedient husband is not only reasonable, practical, merciful, it is just, just for the societies. And that is why people you need to look into Islam, look into the Quran because you are missing this guidance from God which is the guidance that will give you peace inside and peace outside with the community and all around you. That is Islam that we are inviting you to. Become the worshipper of your creator, not worshipper of your ego, not worshipper of your nation, of your flag, of your queen and whatever, but worship God deserves our worship. Thank you all very much for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.